Todd, talk to me about space. Oh, yeah, yeah. So what I have for you, not necessarily space, some of it will cover space, is I have some facts to question your existence. Okay. I thought we were going to have like an hour conversation about like fucking space-time continuum or... Mm. I don't the, know. Flux, the flux capacitor, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So just they're just facts about space? Um, not necessarily space, just life and the, the, the world and universe and all that. Um, I mean, the first one I think is pretty obvious, and I think we probably both have the same answer, is um, are we the most advanced form of life in the universe, or are there other far more superior life forms out there? I can't answer that, honestly. Or but if you had confidently. to... If you had to guess. Um, honestly, no. Mm -hmm. Why not? Because, so do you believe in like UFOs and shit? Like UFO sightings and... Um, honestly, my thought on it is there is beings or there's somebody or some things out there that know we're here. Um, but they're awake... They're any, way too smart for us to see or know that they exist. So I think that all the okay, so know, in, in, the, the Roswells and the videos and the fighter jets with their what the hell was that and, and all that stuff. I think there'd be more concrete evidence by now if there was something. You should watch some of those like documentaries I've on seen Netflix them, man, about I love like, the whole town that like saw I've the same them. thing. One I've night. Seen them. I just think there'd be something very, very just um, what's the word I'm looking for? It just you wouldn't be able Objective. to dis no you just wouldn't be able to disprove what you saw or heard like there'd right. be concrete no going back 100 percent. that's true and that, that just doesn't exist so we have the same answer just in a different yeah. way yeah so you mm -hmm. think there's that we're not the smartest because other people are or not people other think, beings are smart enough to know not and to my right and my point was going to be if like the the ufo sightings and shit were real like they're advanced enough to do that and we're not flying around other fucking planets being sighted because I'm, we aren't advanced enough i'm gonna say there's like some huge like like galactic like republic of like all these different planets or beings but you have to be to a certain point in your civilization to join so in like 4,000 years, we'll get our Hogwarts letter. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Dude's going down and go, you're accepted. Come on in. Not with the way this country's been being <laughs> run. <laughs> They're going to be like, ooh, hashtag mm -hmm. no invite. Huh. Okay. Um, so are these all, are these facts or are they all questions? They're all questions just, just uh, for us to, okay. to contemplate and talk just about. Just to ponder. Okay. So is time only a concept made by humans or is it something we restrict? Is it something we restrict ourselves with? Is time only a concept concept made by humans? Is it something we restrict ourselves with? <sighs> I think a little bit of both. So this actually, you know what? Hold on. Let me uh, scroll to my, because I think this is something I bring up. Uh, so it must've been just something I saw is like, like there's two belief systems and one is that we move through time and the other is that time moves past us or beyond us or uh i think it is a man-made construct but at the same time we've done it in such a way that like there's 24 hours a day, you know, it goes with the, the earth's rotation around the sun. Like we've hammered it out as far as repetition and like a pattern, but we did make it. Yeah. It's basically. definitely so, for us. Right. So time is what it is, but in the way that we understand it is a human construct. What about, is it something that we restrict ourselves with? So is because we've made this, this entity, this unit, is it something that now restricts us because we have to exist yeah, within a, it? A hundred percent. Because yeah. when can you vote? Mm -hmm. When can you drink? Mm -hmm. When can you retire? We have all these statistics about you know, average lifespan, what middle age is. So like we, we built all these ideals but it doesn't necessarily mean it's not 
I don't want to say true or factual because we, we could have done like, you know, a week is a day and you just get, you know, seven suns up and suns down in a day. So it's just how we did it. Because if, so think about it this way, like if we were raised and taught that like the sun, I'm trying to think of how to, how to put this, like what we know as night could only be every two days. Like, so say the days were 12 hours and it's like night is the beginning of one day and the end of the next day. Like that would seem so normal if for the past 2000 years, that's how it was taught. Does sure. That make sense. And you could say that about gosh, so much stuff. Right. So yes, um, it is a human construct, but I think we did it in a good way. Well, we definitely, yeah, yeah. I mean, I would that say if, if you made a pie chart, there'd be a lot more pros than cons. <laughs> yeah. No pie chart, bar chart or line graph or yeah, yeah, yeah. however you want to do it. One of them charts. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, why do we all fear death? Because life is so enjoyable. Mm, that's a perfect answer. So You're I heard some... all these things that I, so we're going to get to it. I, I had, I had, I figured I would uh, rebuttal your shower thoughts with some, some shower thoughts of my own. And it seems like everything you're saying is related to something I had. And one okay. of them, I'll just, we'll skip it when we get to it, is what if all of your fears are like ways you've died in past lives? Ew, no, that sounds horrible. That sounds real bad. Yeah. So I, I have to die from social anxiety? Well, maybe you did <laughs> 600 years ago. That sounds horrible. Yeah. Um, uh, I just think because it's the end of it all. I don't know. Yeah. And I some heard, people don't fear death. This is true. Too. Some people welcome it with open arms. I also or heard open chambers or, mm, e, mm, or open windows air, and airways. And, yeah. 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 Um, it was a guy who I don't remember where I heard it, but I was like, damn, that's pretty, it's pretty spot on. He's like, do you remember before you were born? I was like, and in my head, I was like, no, that's just nothingness. He's like, yeah, well, when you die, there you go. And I was like, oh. I don't, I don't like to think about that. that's, I mean, it sounds very true and genuine to what it could be, but at the same time, I was like, I just don't like thinking about that. Well, if you believe in reincarnation, that light you see at the end of the tunnel could be the light from you being birthed in your next life. Yeah. But that is a, um, like I could be reincarnated right now. So that's one of those things where you don't remember those previous lives or life or whatever it was. You're just you are doing it again or whether right. you're even as a different being, I could go be a squirrel when I die. I mean, you enter that light and you enter that new life, but everything that existed before that didn't. Right. Like I could be Harry Tugman, you know? Yeah, well, you could have used to have been, you can't be. That's her what now. I meant. That's yeah. what I meant. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant to say. You could be Harry, your tub man. <laughs> Could name that Chris is Harriet Tugman is the title of this episode. Oh, Chris yeah. is the Harrier Tub Man. Hmm. Okay. Um, which is easier to love or to hate and why? Uh, I think wholeheartedly to hate. But why is that easier? Because you don't have a fear of getting hurt by someone you hate. It doesn't have to be someone. Something. Yeah, it could be something. It could be an idea. It could be anything i think that's a social construct it's a lot easier to say you hate something than you love something yeah i think hate is one of those words that gets thrown around and really when you get down to the definition do you actually hate it like yeah i do actually hate patrick mahomes like i do well it is funny you went there because i was going to say think <laughs> think of like 80 percent of america are you going to be judged more for saying i hate the cowboys or i love the cowboys yep yeah, when you put it in sports terms definitely yeah, well, that's just easy for us to understand. Yeah, but I yeah, think yeah. anything in general, like if you have such an infatuation with X, but such a dismay for Y, you're going to be judged way more for the thing that you do like than that you don't right. like. You're right. Agreed. So that's uh, that's the best I can put it. Okay. Um. So what does the world need more, wisdom or intelligence? you've asked this question before and we had like a whole thing on like what the difference is. Cause I said, so, wisdom so, is like, yeah. Think knowledge of like from experience and intelligence yeah. is like, my first thought is like the Dalai Lama, like wisdom. That's like, exactly. I'm a, 
Did it's we going to take this? fucking forever, but I'm going to find that clip. I don't know what episode it was, but I'm going to find that clip. I'm thinking like is, Bill intelligence Gates, is Steve learned. Jobs, yeah. Whereas wisdom, wisdom is, is like, yeah. Um, but I guess to answer your question. Confucius, like Confucius would be wisdom. Yeah. And then. Intelligence would be like Steve Hawking. Copernicus. I don't know who that is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it just sounded like it went with Confucius. Also, I like how you call him Steve Hawking. Like you all like hang out hey, on the weekends. Hey, Steve, what are you doing this weekend? <laughs> uh, what are you doing? I'm just hanging out with Steve. Yeah. yeah. Steve who? Oh, we're just, sitting, we're nah, just sitting around. <laughs> yeah, well, you can't do shit else. <laughs> I'm having a good time, Christopher. Aha, aha, aha. Oh, Lord. So, uh, uh what do you I'm going to say world? intelligence. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's the only way to advance as a culture. You ever seen Terminator? Uh, I've seen the cover and the cover says I am 100% intelligence. <laughs> well, that was like a nod to like AI getting too powerful. Well, that's, that's what I was going to say is, you know, the whole, the whole new rave is AI, not a W. Mm. Artificial wisdom? Yeah. That's a billion dollar idea, David. Well, got to figure out where to start. <laughs> you type in a jet PD, G, GPT and it's like, uh, a Confucius say, uh, you, <laughs> you should not do this. Uh, teach a man to fish. <laughs> yeah. What's a good wisdom? Like a, um, a, a good, what, what's that one? That's like, a, um, a good community, like will plant, trees for the shade they won't see or something along those lines i can't remember what it is uh when the going gets rough <laughs> turn to wonder yeah or um uh uh a man who chops his own firewood heats himself twice something like that it is better to remain silent at the risk of being thought a fool than to talk and remove all doubt of it it's mm. a good one i think the uh, liberals need to take note We've definitely done a, a segment on this back in the early days of the podcast. Yeah, and you called them something. Mantras. Yeah, I don't think that's what you call them. Um, I have a bunch of idioms I'm going to hit you with one, one of these. Okay. No, 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 because you, you said what they were called, and I said, I think those are idioms, and then you looked them up, and you were like, no. Okay, how about, let me hit you with just a couple more here. Is there a meaning to all life? What is it? It's what you make of it. Yeah, is that what you're telling the trees? No, but providing oxygen is what they make of it. So life is the meaning of life is different for every living thing. You're okay. laughing, but I'm serious. Like that's <laughs> that's their meaning in life. What about the the resources they provide aside from oxygen? Fruit. You can have multiple wood. meanings. Like take wood. Wood has multiple meanings. You take wood. It's what you know. put in your fireplace. <laughs> it's what you wake up with in the morning. Not all the time, though. Not all the time. I read earlier that uh, morning wood is just like an anti-roll device for men. <laughs> huh? <laughs> never never <laughs> fall off the bed again. Yeah. But yeah, no, I, think it's, I think it's uh, the meaning of life is variable. Take okay. that. Run with it. Um, actually, the last one is um, why do we need validation so much? I thought you were going to say, why do we need valet? That makes no goddamn park in it at fucking uh, McGuire's. That's why. Say that again. Why do we need validation? Mm -hmm. Why do we need validation so much? Because it, the same thing, the social construct of society. That's yeah, I agree. You don't need it. You want it. And I think you've probably learned the same thing is the older you get, the less you care about that. I think or back in back in the like, day, like when to, you listen to like your like when you're a kid and like older, either parents or grandparents, even like stuff they would say and do. You're like, oh, my God. Yeah. You just, but you get to that point where you just don't you give zero fucks. I used to give a shit what other people thought about me. And then I left Maryland. Yeah. Funny yeah. how that works. Yeah. Saved money. You stayed at, warm at. Eric and Antonio and Joe and Joe and Rose everybody else that listens to this. Tony and yeah. Well, parents. some of them I feel like don't care, but <laughs> well, your dad made the opposite move and went cold. Well, he said by spring, he wants to be in Florida. So this spring coming up. Yeah. Damn. I could see him living in like 
not Tampa, but like Fort Lauderdale. I could see him down there. Nah, it's too far. He's got to got to be close for babysitting duties. St. Pete, St. Pete. Um, I don't know if he'd like it over there. Fort Myers. It's a little, a little younger. Fort Myers is a little far away. Sarasota. Uh, can't think of a funny joke. Sarah drinks soda. Sarasota hardly newer. <laughs> I, I got nothing. I don't know. 